This Easter I went on a trip and I brought with me my quadcopter. And uh, right now I'm just flying around uh, with the with, uh, normal plastic propellers on. I'm filming with a cell phone strapped on the drone with some uh, zip ties. I have not yet received my uh, FPV goggles, so I can only fly with seeing the drone, which is quite hard when it's far away. After a few flights, I hit a tree and I broke three of the plastic propellers. And I didn't bring extra propellers with me, I forgot them. So I had this problem that I could not fly this drone during this uh, trip, which was really sad. So I thought maybe I can make my own propellers. So I made four wooden propellers. And at first I didn't think it would work, but I wanted to try and see if there was a chance and uh, hit the first flight with those four propellers. It worked really well. The, the quadcopter was really stable in there and the only big difference I noticed uh, was that you have to give it a bit more throttle than before. And here I'm flying around with the wooden propellers on and the cell phone strapped to the quadcopter. And as you can see the video is a bit more uh, shaky than it was with the plastic propellers. Probably because of the uneven balance of the wooden propellers. After some flights I I broke one of the wooden propellers, I hit something and had a rough landing and it shattered into pieces and I couldn't even find all the pieces. But I didn't bother making a new one because it was the end of the trip and I was going home. But I just wanted to show you guys how I made my wooden propellers. Here I'm making a template. Uh, on a piece of uh, plywood. I would not recommend using plywood, uh, but that's what I had playing around. Now I'm drilling the, the hole for where I will screw it onto the motor. And I'm using this uh, rotating file to shape the wood into a uh, propeller. And now I'm marking out how I will cut the wood in what angles. So it will be uh, the correct angles. Here's a propeller that I made first, which has not so good angles. 
as you can see this propeller won't fly anywhere. This uh, piece of wood is also a bit thick so I made it a bit thinner so it would fit so the nut could get some threads. And now I'm starting to shape the propeller so it can give some thrust. And as I said, uh, plywood is not so good because here a lot of pieces came off so it wasn't a perfect propeller. And uh, I'm using some wood glue here to just uh, keep all those small pieces in place so they don't just fall off when I start flying around. I'm using uh, this type of sandpaper but I feel like it was a bit uh, too fine. It took so long time to shape the, the propeller with this sandpaper. And I'm using this method to just balance it and see what side I should sand. I'm mostly sanding just to get the balance right. As I sand more and more, the balance gets better. I'm just test fitting it to the quadcopter and it's a bit long on one side so I had to sand that down. And now the balance is quite good. And now I'm just tightening down all the nuts to all the wooden propellers. And as you can see the other wooden propellers, they look a more polished than the one I just made, because I used better wood on those propellers. Here I'm just testing to see that everything is working. I just made is it's really rough compared to the other ones but it still works And the quadcopter flies really well with all the wooden propellers on. The biggest difference is that I just need to give it more throttle than I do with the plastic propellers. I also believe that the battery life is also affected on these uh, wooden propellers. I get a bit less flying time 